Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Edge Slide. In our example, I have modeled this uh, object like this. I'm gonna be working on. So by pressing G twice, you can slide selection, for example, hover over this edge like this, hover mouse cursor, then hold down Alt click on the left mouse button in order to select the edge or this uh, loop cut for example hitting g twice this is gonna be making making you can uh, slide this edge like this and move it restricted restricted to this uh, shape over there by default the closer it will get to other vertices the more it will match the shape alternatively you can press shift v also let's select this vertex shift v is gonna be making slide vertex slide like this restricted to this edge by pressing e will force the selection to match the shape of the adjacent versus 100%. Pressing F lets you flip between which edge loop too much and do we match it exactly in terms of shape. Let me show you another great method by pressing C. So just select this vertices like this. Hit G twice. It's gonna be moving and restricting to these two yellow axis shown in our example by hitting the C is gonna be making the shape lets you go outside of the mesh bounds if needed after left clicking to confirm the slide the menu also pops up with the same options the correct UVs option makes sure that the textures don't get distorted when sliding and it's a very amazing tool. As mentioned, at the start shift V is an alternative way to slide, in fact for faces this is so just only method of sliding as pressing G twice scales the face instead. So let's try it for example on this cube. Select these four vertices and shift V it's gonna be uh, sliding the faces without distorting your shape as shown in our example over there pressing G twice scales a face pressing shift V slides the face so if you want to uh, hit G twice by selecting this face you can scale it just like this and shift V shortcut slides the face uh, shift V Shortcut is gonna be sliding the face like this. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.